gonna do, baby? We got the rock bottom theory, SpongeBob conspiracy. Watching the episode Rock Bottom, okay. there are a ton of questions and speculations SpongeBob fans okay. have. Like, how was Rock yeah. Bottom formed? Why was Rock Bottom created? Was there an intention behind the creation of this city, or was this city always here? How does SpongeBob connect to the story of Rock Bottom? I'm sure these no, questions no, no. are circulating. You, I think he fell asleep on a bus and ended up in Rock Bottom. Oh, the others. Okay, the dark one past your neurons and the creators are making sure to hide it looks like you're ready for another spongebob conspiracy this okay. is the rock bottom theory okay, okay. let's get it trap i oh yeah i do remember when the was yeah. to start off from the beginning let's go back to okay. season one episode 17. Rock yeah one. I knew season spongebob one. and patrick are going home from glove world they start looking for change the for the bus fare and keep smacking the glove balloon at the bus driver's face don't forget this guy he will be important later on patrick oh. then notices a sign saying that they are leaving bikini bottom mm -hmm. but why didn't the bus stop at bikini bottom before leaving bikini bottom clearly the bus driver intended this since even after knowing spongebob and patrick wanted to go home Home, he was refusing to drive them back home. But Dang. sir, we need to get back to Bikini Bottom. Oh well. Oh, they both start salty. noticing that Rock he Bottom is very different from Bikini yeah, Bottom. Sure. Rock Bottom? It sure is weird around here. Kind of different. Even the soil looks different. The soil yeah. is different. The oh. language is different. Yeah. And most importantly, the people are different. They it's landed like a different in country. a mysterious city yeah. that's yeah. never been explored before. This was the first ever debut of Rock Bottom. A strange city full of darkness. Patrick waits for the next bus and ends up taking it home. But why on earth did the bus driver <laughs> let Patrick get in but not Sponge? Because Sponge was smacking the hell out of him yeah, with that balloon. Oh, okay, maybe the most obvious reason would be Spongebob not paying the fare and smacking the bus oh, driver with the glove the But I don't Damn. think this is a valid reason for stranding them. I, I mean, believe this bus driver was hired by a team to remove him. Maybe annoyed that huh? bottom residents were behind Spongebob's solitude. There was even a scene where Spongebob sprints up the steep road to get the bus but fails to do so. This led Spongebob to imitating Grandpa Squarepants who says never run for a bus. Don't run for a bus. Especially one that's going up at a 90 degree angle. Especially one that's going up at a 90 degree angle. Great impression. A question that pops up in my mind. Why would Grandpa Why would he say, say that? this? Yeah. And is there any deep meaning? Well, we do know in reality the only road going up on a 90 degree angle is a road that separates Bikini Bottom and Rock, rock Bottom. bottom. Yeah. So we know mm -hmm. Grandpa Squarepants is referring to the Rock Bottom Road. But why? Strictly the only possible reason is that Grandpa Squarepants was in the same position position of Spongebob with Hey yo, this ah. guy got a heart. Yeah, he got a heart. Hey man, you got some gas on you. Hey, I hope y'all having a good day. Hello, yeah. He was you. visiting Glove World. He must have been annoying just like Spongebob and was tricked into leaving Bikini Bottom. Luckily, that Grandpa Squarepants sense. came back to Bikini Bottom to share his wisdom. But forget him. Let's talk about Spongebob. Why on earth would everyone want to get rid of Spongebob? What did well, he do? duh, he is annoying. There are several characters That's in the show enough. that are affected by him, such as Squidward, Pearl, Mrs. Puff, and sometimes even Plankton. And these are just a couple characters I pointed That's out. Not enough. But were these characters introduced? Before episode 17. I'm pretty sure. All of them? Yeah. Sure. Bikini Bottom Systems like mapped out a plan to later. plant a bus with an intended bus driver who is responsible for dropping SpongeBob to Rock Bottom. SpongeBob begins to wait for the next bus and seems to only show up when SpongeBob is caught off guard. He tries to get the bus a yeah, number of times, but every time episode. he gets close, yeah. it leaves. That's so childish. So childish. Many of you would suggest that this is just the uh, yeah. way Rock Bottom works. That all bus drivers have a low tolerance of waiting, but to me it looks like it's not only intended to prevent Spongebob from leaving Rock Bottom, but to kill off all possible hope and desire Whoa. to get back home. When Spongebob arrives Whoa. at Rock Bottom, he starts to notice the two cities are distinctive and really foreign from the buildings to the soil. Everything you see looks unrelated, including the inhabitants. These inhabitants are in fact fish, but look nothing like the fish you see in Bikini Bottom. Hey. Oh, One of the 
inconspicuous details I noticed was that the fish in rock bottom were glowing. Could these fish be radioactive okay. by any chance? If so, how? Okay, okay. Before we tackle anything serious, let me ask you a simple question. How was rock bottom created? Well, this question may sound really- It's just another part of the ocean, maybe. Philosophical, right? Let's scratch yeah. deep into the surface of this question and ask ourselves, what may have caused a crater just outside Bikini Bottom right. that separates it from everything else? Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, clear. I think I've found the mystery Damn. to this unrevealed question. Remember, Bikini Atoll? Yeah. It's time yeah. to tell the world yeah. the truth about rock bottom. So we all know that Bikini Atoll was a nuclear testing site located in the Pacific Ocean, where US government performed nuclear testing to perfect the size that of nukes. In 1999, when Steven Hillenburg created SpongeBob, he chose a setting to be- Boy, the similarity between this and Steven Spielberg is be located oh, at Bikini creators. Bottom, based on the Bikini Atoll Islands. We are all familiar that nuclear explosives carry a range of harmful radiations that cause mutations in cell structures. An example of a real-life situation is the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings where the United States detonated explosives to these cities in 1945. While studies... I ain't gonna lie, my, 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 we know, was fucked yeah, up. I was about to say, do you know how effed up you gotta be to do that? Niggas was really like... You know what, let's hit this nigga. Innocent people over there. Just, the just they just the the blood. They That's wild. wild. That's wild. Like, 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 I, I, like, the U.S. really, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's OD like, wild. bro, that's messed up. Now, granted, a lot of stuff has happened that was wrong. But a nuke yeah, is nuke crazy. Is crazy. <laughs> Just that the people are still suffering from the mutations brought out from those sites. Enough of all that. How does all this relate to Bikini Bottom? Well, we know that- I realize he kind of sounds like he Alex. He sounds like Alex, yeah, yeah. The fish in Bikini Bottom were evolved to talk and act like humans through the aid of radiation, but what makes the fish in Rock Bottom so special? I think the city of Rock deep. Bottom was in closer proximity to the nuclear Yo. testing site, which mm. resulted in a higher level okay. of radioactivity in the city. I mean, the radio activity is so high that the soil in rock bottom has linguistic abilities. Even the soil looks different. Would you mind putting me down? That Essentially, Bikini makes Bottom sense. was given just the right amount of radiation for the fish to evolve into walking, talking fish. But yeah, Rock Bottom, the on right the other amount. hand, was yeah, given yeah, a just, higher just, dose of... <laughs> right you said, but Rock Bottom just now, it's not like you said, Barack Bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Barack Bottom! Radiation, which led to abnormalities. And if you're questioning how I can prove it's because of radiation, think about this. Why would there be a 90-degree angle road separating Bikini Bottom and Rock Bottom? Well... I was just about to say that. Cause if you look, that look like just something. Look at look at how the wall look. It look yeah. like that's a crater. Yeah, the cur the that inside of rock bottom is yeah. where it direct hit, directly. Be a 90 degree angle bikini road bottom separating just bikini outskirts. bottom and rock bottom. Well, obviously because the force of the nukes caused a large crater. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that every fish in rock bottom looks different? Every fish except Every this guy. One. When SpongeBob sprints for his life, a red fish approaches him to help with balloon travel. That's right. SpongeBob meets a fish that looks very different from the rock bottom fish. He looks exactly like the bikini bottom fish, but the only thing different is the glowing thing on his head. I think this fish was trying to blend into rock bottom style since this fish doesn't look anything like them. Did you notice that the fish itself isn't glowing, but rather the thing on his ah. head? The other fish in rock bottom are luminous, ah. unlike the angular fish. He probably Details. thought of attaching a fake glow torch Details. on the top of his head to fool the rock bottom inhabitants into thinking he is an angler fish that's local. If you don't believe this fish is from Bikini Bottom, then take a look at this clip. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, oh, if this fish is from yeah. rock bottom, then why doesn't he talk like the other fish? You know, yeah, raspberries yeah. after every few words. He speaks the exact same language as bikini bottomers. And most importantly, think about this. He was the only one who knew how to get SpongeBob out of bikini bottom through balloon travel. And one yeah. question that comes up in my mind, the how the heck did he even get there? I'm thinking he was probably forcefully taken there the same way SpongeBob was. But then, why didn't he even go back? Time to scratch beneath the surface. Okay. Bro, this, this guy's good. He's good. He's good. I like this guy. This guy's good. But nah, the series makes sense. But the only thing that that I'm wondering, right? Right. What, you know, you know what I mean? What could he have done to make them that mad? Yeah. Bro? Right? I don't remember SpongeBob being that annoying. Like he that's was what I'm saying. That first that's 17 not episodes. That wasn't enough. Something had to happen. Yeah, something had to, you know what I mean?
If he was that annoying, that's kind of crazy. After watching Rock Bottom, I noticed it was obviously portrayed that the anglerfish wasn't a Rock Bottom native, but instead suggested to originate from Bikini Bottom. And with all crazy stuff aside, why isn't Incidental 211 making an attempt to use a balloon and go back to his hometown? Well, the most yeah. obvious thing floating through your mind is that he got used to it or grown to love life in Rock Bottom. We know for sure that nothing is preventing him from going back to Bikini Bottom if he had the chance to steal SpongeBob's balloon and use it to get back home without returning it. Maybe he wants to live there. Or maybe he's brainwashed to live there. Let me explain. In the episode SpongeBob's Big Birthday Blowout, SpongeBob invited a ton of fish, and in his house, we see the glowfish. If the glowfish oh, successfully oh, reached Bikini Bottom, why didn't he stay or why didn't he attempt to come? Damn! Oh, crap! That's detail. That's detail. Okay, how y'all be doing this? I don't know. Oh, there in the previous crap. seasons, if he was from there. If that doesn't convince you, then take a look at this clip. Tell me what you see. Why were you waving at us and then running away? Huh? I can't understand your accent. SpongeBob finally makes a return to Rock Bottom, but that's not the point. The Glowfish is actually using the native Rock Bottom language and fails right. to comprehend the Bikini Bottom language. Now you're likely asking me, Sinian, what if this fish just learned the Rock Bottom language and forgot the Bikini Bottom language? Okay, maybe he forgot how to speak like the Bikini Bottomers, but he doesn't even understand the language, which makes no sense. According to a lot of yeah, articles, while it's possible it. to lose part of your native language, it is nearly impossible to completely lose it. And as per the episode Food <laughs> Truck, it seems that Incidental 211 <laughs> has no episode. trace of the Bikini Bottom language. Not just that, but he also does not comprehend his native language now. But in Season 1, Episode 17, oh. Rock Bottom, the anglerfish was speaking Bikini Bottom. Yeah, All yeah, these yeah. clues point out that Incidental 211 was brainwashed by Rock Bottom fish, but how? Well, it's really hard to find the real reason, but I assume these radioactive fish are convincing him that they are the better and more superior breed as opposed to Bikini Bottom fish. But I think the most should. logical also why are they smaller they're smaller that's a that that right there they're smaller look at them it's really hard to find the real reason but i assume these radioactive fish are convincing that, that they orange. are the better and more superior breed as opposed to bikini bottom oh you saying spongebob and it was no the monk the rock bottom dudes are smaller and so why are they larger here that because this is the past why are they smaller oh, in the future? Okay. Fish. But I think the most logical explanation of how Incidental 211's culture was stripped was through the means of radiation. As we know from the beginning of the theory, oh, these fish exposure. are extremely radioactive yeah. to the too point where they are exposure. constantly emitting radio frequencies. This phenomenon is called the photoelectric effect, which is about electrons being emitted when any form of matter is absorbing radiation. Man, this is the first time the high school chemistry teacher actually mm. came in handy. Thank you, Mr. Armstrong, for teaching me chemistry. Some ev Hey, um. My mom's last name is Armstrong. Wow. Her, her, her uh, brother's a chemistry teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay. I <Ain't> crack chemistry. <laughs> Food truck suggests that Rock Bottom is a depressing city. When I first watched this episode, I came across a scene where the fish were Whoa. living inside a fucking coffin. But the intent the writers <laughs> he had to say it. He had to drop it. I know. That's what that's to portray funny. the emptiness of Rock Bottom through a graveyard full of unoccupied graves. This is scary. And on top of all this, you guys keep telling me it's a kid show. Anyways, the symbolism uh -huh. does not make sense at all since we literally, for a fact, know that they are alive, right? Oh boy, was I wrong. Could these fish be dead? No, 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 no. They can't be dead. Impossible. This is a happy show. Heavens yeah. to Betsy, what the fuck is this? What am I watching? In the episode The Night Patty, uh? SpongeBob was hitting a night shift and serving to Rock Bottom inhabitants, and this happens. SpongeBob serves them normal patties, which everybody seems to hate, then flukes his way into making night patties, which everyone seems to love. But what I find weird about the patties are that they are holographic. That's right, these Rock Bottom fish prefer ghost looking patties over regular crappy ghosts. patties. This could point out that the Rock Bottom fish are dead. And if you think about it, it makes real sense. The radioactivity must have caused the death of these fishes. Every single fish. Every single fish, including Incidental 211. Yes, ah. he is dead. Why do I say that? Look at this clip. The man hates regular food yeah. and prefers a night patty. You want to know something that ghosts are really good at? Vanishing. In the food truck episode, we see Incidental 211 vanishing from SpongeBob and Squidward, which proved that he is a ghost. 
Wow. I hate to say this, but this fish was killed by all that radiation and brainwashing, which caused him to transmute into a ghost. And this might be a lot. I don't even think it was brainwashing. I think it was just the radiation yeah, eventually the radiation. killed him. Logical yeah. explanation on why he never took the glove balloon back to Bikini Bottom. He was dead. Mm. May his soul rest in peace. Ugh. And that, my friends, is the rock bottom theory. Thank you for watching. Damn, that was that's, that's great. Good. That was great. That was great. If you think about it, SpongeBob must be a lucky boy. Because if SpongeBob went to rock bottom without a balloon, he would never return. Since the balloon is what he used to travel back home. And if he stayed there any longer, he would end up dead. Just like Incidental 211. Man, this theory was way too deep. I mean, I know I made crazy theories in the past, but this right, one's just insane. With more. that being said, please check out yeah. my other. Now, nah, y'all go check them out. Let Bro, us know which ones to watch. Yeah, yeah, yo, y'all watch. Let us know which ones. Yeah, to watch. for sure. Thank you for subscribing to Internet City. And you better be following us on Twitch, or I'ma eat your.